Hey guys, this is Jack from Jack's Garage. Today we're working on the 2013 Dodge Ram 1500. We'll be installing the upper glove box and the optional glove box light. So let's get started. So I've come inside to show you some details about the glove box itself and what tools we'll need to install it. I've got a 7mm socket and wrench, I've got the, remo the panel removing tool, and I've got some crimps just in case we need to remove a zip tie when we have to get out the plug for the light. So, I'll start with the light itself. The light, the glove box has a little retainer that this thing comes out and then this one pops in. Pretty easy, it's got two clamps on the side and you just pop it in. We'll be on the lookout when we remove the glove box or the little cubby for that plug. So when you get out that cubby, the one thing on the back side, there's a seven, seven millimeter screw that we have to pull out. So we'll have to remove the bottom glove box to get to that. And then everything else is just clips that'll slide right in. The glove box door is pretty self-explanatory. There's just four bolts that we'll have to attach in and then we should be able to close it right in on the little clasp. So I bought this kit used and it looks like it came with the lower one and the upper one but for some reason I'm missing the screws and I asked the guy he said the screws should be under the cubby when we pull it out so when we pull it out we'll see if they're there so it should be pretty easy to install let's go out and check so here's my cubby the only thing I use it for is holding my hang tag so to get started you've got to release the glove box it's got a little clip on the side that's pretty easy to pop out you just push forward and then you squeeze the sides and the glove box pops right out. So we'll remove that and then we'll get into removing the bolt that's inside. So I've positioned myself so that we can see in the video. You can see the screw way in the back here, or the bolt, and now I'll just start unloosening it. It's the one on the far left hand side and it's only one. So it doesn't take much to get it out. Okay. I've gotten the screw out. Now all I have to do is pry the glove box out. The cubby glove box. So that was pretty easy. It pops out. Now we'll look for that plug for the little light. Alright, there it is. I found it. Looks like it is attached to something back here. It's tied to some uh, electrical tape, so I'm going to use those little crimps and cut it off. See if we can't get it out. Alright, so this has got to mount way over here to the side to where the light will be. That's perfect. These two zip ties are to when I installed the navigation and had to make the wiring myself. So I'm going to clip those off while I'm in here. That's easy. And then we get our new cubby. It goes in here. I'm going to take the little light. Just easily pops right in. There we go. So then when we plug that in, it should work. So we've got the two screw holes here. We've got two screw holes here. So the guy was right. The screws actually are right behind that box. And then this is going to go right over it. So I'll unscrew those real quick. So I did buy my glove box used. And I, I thought it was a little dirty. I stuck the bin in the dishwasher. And then I took some degreaser and sprayed the face of the glove box and got it clean. I was able to get it used cheaper than I was able to off of off of the Mopar website. Mopar wanted about $275 and $30 to ship. I just thought that was kind of high. So I found it on eBay and I've been looking for months and they would take it was a best offer. So I kept on low balling them and then he finally came back and accepted it. So I got it about for about $250 and then I it was $16 for that light itself. So I've got a little interior cleaner. Never get cleaned. 
up under this little cubby, so I figured it might be a perfect opportunity to get it all wiped out. So, still pretty dirty, but looks better. And then we'll give it a little wipe down back behind here. And then if you can zoom in right over here, uh, in the past I did do the the filter upgrade for your air um, air conditioning. So there's actually a filter behind there. That's a, that's a really good upgrade to the truck also. So let's get ready to pop in the box itself. So we have our plug that we just discovered was actually back behind here, which I always love that. And then we're going to slide it in to this thing. I snap right in. The light came on and then works with the push. So that works well. I'm going to set that to the side. We're going to get the cover itself. Unscrew these. See how we get this thing in. So hop down of the truck to be able to get a little footing on putting this thing in. So better to put your hand way down here at the bottom, kind of push up, and then it pops right in place. So we've got the four holes, got my screws ready. Rescrew those in. Last one here. Okay, got it. And we'll just take this, squeeze it up, pop it in place. Alright, check the little button again. Make sure there's no clips right there. And we'll just pop it down. So, totally different look. Looks fantastic there. Give a good little wipe. Let's see how this thing works. Oh, pretty quick there. That's great. Got a new glove box, got a new look, and then we just repeat the steps. So once you got the cubby installed, don't forget about screwing that last screw in under the dash that holds it in place. So got my flashlight in place. Crank her down. Okay, there it is, tight. Now to reinstall the lower glove box. Pop the first little clip on that side and this side. See? And then we look for our little bungee. Pull that around. Squeeze these back in. And re-engage that. Then I wanted to show you that I, I've wrapped up my my lock for my rims. I've got the pieces that it takes to take off my rear differential color, and then also keep an extra set of Allen wrenches so they can take off my rim covers. And then I put it put it in a little paper towel so it didn't clank around in my lower glove box. So you clip that in. So I I think it looks pretty great. It looks like I need to wipe it down a little bit more, but it came out looking great. So if you like watching the video on installing my upper glove box, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on the Dodge Ram 1500.